Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching. Today we will make this poncho and this is part one where we will make the four squares. In part two we will assemble the poncho, make a Jacob's leather border and make a simple neckline. This poncho is made out of four squares and I will show you how to make these beautiful color effects with the mandala yarn. When the squares are folded together, they will make the front, back and shoulders. You can wear it this way or turn it 90 degrees and wear it that way. The poncho we will be making is 31 inches long without the tassels and 35 inches wide, but you can make it as big as you want. Here you can see the yarn and hook that I'm using. Let's start making the square. Make a chain of four. One, two, three, four, then slip stitch into the very first loop and make a ring. And start round one. Chain two to bring up the yarn, then make 16 double crochet into the ring and I crochet around my loose end as well. One. Two, three, and four. So not including the chain of two, make 16 double crochet into the ring. Skip over the two chains and make a slip stitch into the first double crochet and start round two. You can chain three for the double crochet or make a chainless double. The chainless double is nice because you don't see a seam. Here's how I make my chainless double. I pull a little long, hold the loop with my thumb, then go from the front to the back around the yarn to create the yarn over for the double crochet. Then I go into the first st stitch again, the first double crochet, pull the yarn through, pull through the loop, and behind the yarn over, let go, pull through two loops, chain two, go to the next double crochet, the second double crochet, make a double, chain two, go to the next double, the third double, make a double crochet, chain two, in this way make 16 double crochets and all of the doubles with chain twos in between. To get this beautiful mandala effect, we have to switch colors from time to time. I want to show you how I switch my colors. Chain two to finish round two, then make a slip stitch into the chain space. Then pull the yarn through one more time, make a chain. Then I cut my yarn and I pull the yarn out. Start round three and I will switch to a pink color. Start your round away from the loose end so we don't have a bunch of loose ends in the same spot. Hold the yarn tight on the back and wrap it around your hook. Now we will make a standalone double crochet yarn over for the double, then go into any of the chain spaces and I go around my loose end as well and make the double crochet. Pull through two, pull through two and you can pull a little bit tight. Then make two more doubles into the same chain space. So in this round, we will make three double crochet in all of the chain spaces. Go to your next chain space and I crochet around my loose end as well. Make three double crochets. One, two, three. Go to the next chain space and make three double crochets. When I get to my other loose end, I crochet around that as well. So it's very easy this way. We don't have to stitch anything in. Finish round three with a slip stitch into the second double. Skip over the first double crochet. Go into the second, make a slip stitch and into the third double, make a slip stitch and make a slip stitch in between the two groups of three double crochet right around the whole stitch and start round four. I want to make the chain this double again. Pull a little long, hold with your thumb, move from the front to the back around to make the yarn over, then go in between the two groups of three doubles again and make the double crochet. Pull the yarn through, pull through the loops behind the yarn over, let go, 
go through two loops, chain one, go into the same space and make another double crochet. We make a V-stitch this round, chain one, skip three doubles, go in between the two groups of three doubles and make the V-stitch. Make the double crochet, a chain, and a double crochet into the same space. Chain one, skip three doubles, go in between the groups of three doubles and make the V-stitch. Double crochet, chain, double crochet into the same space, chain one, skip three doubles, make the V-stitch in between all the groups of three doubles with a double, a chain and a double and in between V-stitches also make a chain. Finish round four with a chain of one and a slip stitch into the V-stitch into the chain of one right between the two double crochets. Make a chain, pull your yarn through and I cut my yarn and I want to change colors again in round five. Here's my end from round four and I will start somewhere else. Go into any of the V-stitches. Wrap the yarn around your hook so you have a loop. Make the yarn over and go into any of your V-stitches and make the double crochet pull through. Pull through two loops and through two. You can tighten it up a little bit. Then make a second double crochet into the V-stitch. Make two doubles in between the V-stitches into the chain space of one. So we make two doubles into all the V-stitches and two doubles into the chain space of one in between the V-stitches. Go to your next V-stitch and make two doubles into that. One, two, go in between the V-stitches and make two doubles into that. One and two. And repeat that all the way around. Two doubles into the V-stitch, two doubles in between the V-stitches. When I get to my other loose end, I double crochet around that as well. At the end of round five, I want to switch color again. Skip over the first double, go into the second double and make a slip stitch and into the space in between the two double crochets. One, two, go into the space, make a slip stitch, a chain, cut the yarn, pull through, and now start round six with a new color. Make a single crochet in between any of the groups of two doubles. Wrap the yarn around your hook. Go in between the groups of two doubles we made into the chain spaces and make the single crochet. Chain two. Go into the next group of two, so skip two doubles and make the single crochet in between the next two doubles. Chain two. Skip two, make a single crochet in between the next two doubles. Chain two, skip two, make a single crochet between all the two double crochet with a chain two in between. Finish round six with a chain of two, a slip stitch into the chain space of two. Make a chain, cut your yarn, and I will change my color in round seven. Start in any chain space of two, wrap the yarn around your hook, yarn over for a double crochet, make a double crochet into any of the chain spaces. Make two more doubles into the same chain space. In this round we make three double crochet into every chain space. Go to your next chain space, make three doubles, one, two, Three, repeat it 32 times, three doubles into all of the chain spaces. Finish round seven with a slip stitch into the second double. Skip over the first double, make a slip stitch into the second double, into the third double, in between the groups of three doubles into that space. Make a chain and I will switch my color again in round eight. Start anywhere in between the groups of three double crochet, make a single crochet, wrap around, go in between the two groups, make a single crochet, chain three, skip three doubles, make a single crochet, chain three, skip three doubles, and in between all the groups of three double crochets we make single crochets, chain three, 
skip three and make a single crochet and make 32 chain spaces this way. Finish round eight with a chain of three Make a slip stitch into the first chain space of three. Make a chain and cut the yarn and start round nine with a new color. Start in any of the chain spaces and make a standalone double crochet. Wrap around, make the yarn over and make four double crochet into the first chain space or into any of the chain space of three. One, two, three, four, Go to the next chain space and make three double crochet so we will alternate between three double crochet and four double crochet three double crochet go to the next chain space and make four double crochet then go to the next chain space and make three double crochet so at the end of the round we have four three four three we have four double crochet 16 times and three double crochet 16 times so alternate between four and three. Finish round nine with three doubles. Skip the first double and make four slip stitches. The first one into the second double, then into the third double, into the fourth double, and then between the four doubles and the three doubles into that space. And start round ten with a chainless double crochet into that same space between the four double crochet and the three double crochet chain two make a double into the same space so i'm making v-stitches again in this round go between the next two groups between the three doubles and the four doubles so skip over the three doubles and repeat the v-stitch double crochet two chains double crochet into the same space now skip over four doubles going between the four doubles and the three doubles repeat the v-stitch double crochet two chains double crochet into the same space Make those three stitches between all the groups of double crochet with a double crochet, two chains and a double crochet. Finish round 10 with a slip stitch into the first V-stitch into the chain of two. Start round 11 with a chainless double crochet into the V-stitch. Then make three more doubles into the same V-stitch. So in this round we make four doubles into every V-stitch. Three. Four. Go to the next V-stitch into the chain space of two. Make the four doubles. One, two, three, and four. Make four double crochet 32 times into all the V-stitches. I want to switch color again in round 12. I finish round 11. Skip the first double. Make a slip stitch into the second double. The third double and the fourth double and a slip stitch in between the groups of four doubles make a chain pull the yarn out and i switch my color again in round 12. go in between any of the groups of four double crochet and make a single crochet chain four one two three four go to the next group between the four double crochets make the single crochet chain four one two three four go to the next two groups in between and make the single crochet one two three four chains make the single in between all the four doubles with chain four in between finish round 11 with a chain of four and make a slip stitch into the first chain space and start round 13 now we will turn our circle into a square Put four markers, put the first one where we just made the slip stitch, that will be our first corner. Then count seven spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put your marker into the eighth one, count seven spaces again. Put your marker into the eighth one, count seven spaces. Put your marker into the eighth one, and then one more time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and we are back at our first marker so we have four markers and seven empty spaces in between i made a drawing we can use for the four sides and for the four corners let's start in the corner where our marker is we will make three trebles three chains and three treble crochets 
chain four one two three four for the first treble then make two more trebles into the chain space yarn over twice one two chain three one two three make three more trebles where the marker is and that's our first corner one two and three now we have our seven chain spaces one two three four five six seven in the first chain space make four doubles move to your first chain space make four double crochet into the chain space one two three four into the second chain space also make four doubles move to your next chain space and make four doubles one two three and four our third chain space gets four half double move to the third chain space make four half doubles one two three and four move to the fourth chain space and we will make four singles make four singles one two three four into the fourth space into the fifth space make four half doubles again so we're getting larger again one half double two three four half doubles into the sixth chain space make four doubles and into the seventh chain space make four doubles and then we're at our marker again make four doubles into the sixth chain space one two three four in our last chain space before the marker also gets four double crochets one two three and four and here's our second corner where we repeat the same stitches as in the first corner three trebles three chains and three trebles into the second corner one treble two three three chains one two three and three more trebles into the same chain space our second corner one two and three this is our first side and we have to repeat the same pattern three more times on the other sides repeated three sides the same way we did the first side we have the seven spaces in the first space make four double crochet into the second space also make four doubles into the third space make four half doubles into the fourth space make four singles into the fifth space make four half doubles into the sixth space make four doubles and into the seventh space make four doubles and in the corner make three trebles three chains and three trebles and repeat that on all sides the seven spaces one two three four five six seven get four doubles four doubles four half doubles four singles four half doubles four doubles and four doubles and in the corner make three trebles three chains and three treble crochet at the end of round 13 i made four double crochets make a slip stitch into the fourth chain make a slip stitch into the treble crochet and a slip stitch into the third treble crochet and a slip stitch into the chain space into the first corner and start round 14.
In round 14 we will repeat the stitches we made in round 13, where we made trebles, we will make trebles, where we made doubles, we will make doubles, and so on. Repeat the same corner, 3 trebles, 3 chains, and 3 trebles, chain 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, for the first treble, then make 2 more trebles into the chain space of 3. Chain 3, make 3 trebles into the same chain space so that's our first corner it's the same corner as in the in the previous round three trebles three chains three trebles we made three trebles in the previous round let's make three trebles into the three trebles of the previous round one two three then we made four doubles Two times so we make that two one double two three four doubles into the previous four top doubles and again four doubles into the previous four doubles one double two three doubles four doubles then we made four half doubles Let's make four half doubles into the previous four half doubles. One, two half doubles, three halves, and four half doubles. Then we made four singles. Let's make four singles. One, two singles, three singles, four singles, then four half doubles again. One, Two, three, four, then two times four doubles. So one time, one double, two, three doubles, four doubles into the previous four doubles, then four doubles into the next four doubles. One, two, three, four. Then we have our three trebles left. Make three trebles. One, two, and three. In our second corner, we repeat three trebles, three chains, and three trebles into the chain space of three. Two trebles. Three, three chains and three trebles. One, two, and three. Now repeat this pattern on the other three sides. Repeat the same stitches as we did in the previous round. Make the three trebles into the three trebles, then make four doubles two times, four half doubles, four singles, four half doubles, and then four doubles two times. Then make the three trebles into the previous three trebles and make your corner. Three trebles, three chains, and three trebles into the corner. Repeat that on all the sides. Finish round 14 with 3 treble crochet into the previous 3 treble crochet, then make 4 slip stitches into the 4th chain, into the 2 treble crochets of the previous round, 1, 2, and into the chain space, and start round 15. Now we will make 3 more rounds with all double crochet. Pull long, make a chainless double crochet. And we change our corner a little bit. Now we have two double crochet, one and two, three chains, one, two, three, and two double crochets into the corner. So one less double crochet, two doubles, three chains, two doubles, then make double crochet into every single stitch of the previous round. Do that until you get to the next corner. 
when you get to the corner make two doubles three chains and two doubles into all of the corners and if you want to double check yourself we have 44 double crochets from corner to corner finish round 15 with 44 double crochet from corner to corner and then make a slip stitch into the first double crochet and into the second double crochet we made into the corner and into the chain space and start round 16. Make two double crochet, three chains and two doubles into all of the corners, double crochet all the way around. At the end of round 16 we will have 48 double crochet from corner to corner. Then start the last round, round 17, repeat the two doubles three chains and two doubles into all of the corners at the end of round 17 we will have 52 doubles from corner to corner I finished round 17 and we have 52 double crochet from corner to corner and now I will finish my square pull the yarn out of the double crochet and thread a needle skip over the first double crochet Go into the second double crochet that we made in the chain space and from the front to the back pull through both loops. Then skip over the first double again and go into your last double crochet where the yarn is coming out of. Go through both loops in the back. Then go back to the left side and secure your yarn. And now we have an invisible join and our stitch number is correct. We completed our first square. Now make three more squares just like the first one so we will have four squares all together and then we will join our squares. Thank you for watching and please join me in part two where we will finish our poncho. Bye bye!